Andrea. In this video, uh, I will try to explain you about the door machine software uh, which I developed in Office. Uh, this software is uh, running on in industrial PC and uh, also using a touch panel uh, only uh, because it's designed for touch panel and uh, it's using uh, all uh, kind of a TPA CAD macros and R variables inside. Uh, let me show you. For example, uh, we we loaded some macros we already prepared in the office with the TPA CAD, and we will use these all. Uh, for example, when you if you operators start to make one door hinge or lock or door model, uh, he has to push uh, a plus and uh, he, he should choose the door leaf uh, or door frame because if the machine makes door frame uh, we can we can show this option to the operator and also we can remove this option in XML file Con that because there's a configuration file about this and uh, when you uh, change the configuration file you can uh, design everything for example uh, as you see uh, in the system directory ASC uh, uh, programs macros and work types if you edit this file you can see this for example the door leaf work type door frame and the PNG file of this and after that operator can uh, select the door lift and uh, the system asks the dimension of the piece. Uh, this is completely touchable. For example, this dimension and the thickness and uh, select OK. Uh, after that, uh, operator see what kind of works can add uh, on this door leaf for door lock and door hinge and door model. If operator uh, select, for example, the door frame, uh, for example, like this, then he should see he's seeing the door frame lock and door frame hinge. It is the different because the work type is different. Now uh, we are continue with the door leaf and. Now uh, you can see the door lock, for example, we can add one and I have only one macro about this and the system show me uh, the XD dimension and I'm entering this. We can change this dimension, for example, with the 500 and if I OK this, I can see the uh, macro in 500 from the button, OK? And also, I can add a door hinge. For example, uh, I have two macro about this. For example, I can use this X offset from the uh, top and bottom and depth uh, of the hinge and uh, width of the hinge and height of the hinge. Uh, I can select this or I can change everything. For example, I can select this I add this option to the uh, door leaf, as you see. Okay. Uh, for example, I can uh, remove this selection with this file, and I can see every single uh, macro on the machine on the piece. Uh, I I deleted this macro, and I add same uh, hinge with different. With, for example, not 100 but 250, and okay. Now you can see wider, uh, wider hinge in here, because I read the parameter from the CAD file and I apply this. Uh, the mentality of this program, uh, for example, when you and I apply this, uh, the mentality of this program, uh, for example. When you add these all kind of macros on the piece, you can see this work list in here. Uh, 
because work list is uh, automatically created by uh, your selections. And after that, if you start uh, the program, uh, machine do these macros with their parameters by one by. Then I can add, for example, one door model, uh, this one, for example, or door model one, this one, and uh, some parameters I have. Again, I add this, this is the door model. And now you can see the work list, three different macro. Uh, if you press start, they will run by one by. Uh, I will uh, record another video for you uh, to how to uh, save and uh, open a program and another uh, pro systems. You can add new macro to the system. It's very easy. The operator can do that. To, for example, I can check the uh, door models, for example, door model 1 and door model 2, for example, and I am closing these two door model I have in the system. And now in setting, add new macro, uh, I put the, my USB key here, I draw it from my PC, and now I select the uh, one unique name for this, for example, uh, door model dash x for example okay i wrote and i i select the uh, tcm file in my uh, usb key only tcm file is, can be selected and I select, and as you see, the parameter of the uh, TCM file came automatically in here. You can change this and you can check what is it, for example, the margin. When you click it, I can uh, uh, read here from the description. And now I need to uh, select one Im image file for this. For example, this one, image file, and uh, only click uh, macro create uh, macro will be created. Are you sure? Yes, and macro created now. I can use it uh, for example in piece door model processing uh, door model one and two. Now, uh, this macro should be around here. Yes, I, I recorded this macro to a uh, wrong area because this is a door model, but I, uh, I put it in door lock, but I can move it move macro to door model processing area okay it's gone from here and if i click here i can check it in here as you see and i can use these uh, parameters to create this shape in another way for example as you see And I can uh, run this software, uh, run this uh, work list immediately. Andrea, another uh, option of this uh, software is uh, macro updates of uh, system. Uh, for example, a machine manufacturer, if they upload their macros to the cloud and uh, if they release these macros on the cloud, uh, the client, uh, the machines, uh, if machines check the updates, they can find the new macros on the cloud and they uh, automatically download and use it. For example, uh, you can see this. For example, I can I can select one, uh, for example, door hinge. I have hinge one, hinge one, two. But now uh, I check the, uh, I press the, this button. And uh, as you see, system check the internet connection and uh, two macro has been found, door lock is changed, four macro has been found. And if the customer, if the customer, for example, uh, remove this checkbox and he wants only this update, this door lock, couple two, for example, and click OK, it asks the macro in the list Will be downloaded and updated or is that this kind of under the are you sure this? Yes. 
and this macro is updated. Now I close this and check again and I see three macro will be updated because I download one of them. Now when I can check this in hinge uh, or here as you see you can check this kappa 2 or here as you see automatically downloaded and updated in here in this video i will show you how to save a work list and open it again for example uh, i add one uh, door model one uh, hinge on the door and one door lock door lock as you see i have three uh, macro on the uh, piece as you see we can uh, check this and my work list is this three line now i can save this work list uh, my work and okay now it's saved automatically for example i can remove these all and i open work list my work in here and as you see it came automatically the same list and the operator will use this work uh, later uh, when they want i have one uh, additional information about the software uh, it is software uh, supporting uh, uh, multi-language if you uh, click the setting and uh, if you change the language here you see you see the uh, things are automatically changed for example cnc connected or something like that and uh, you can change immediately the uh, all uh, language file but the better is this uh, i am using the same uh, language uh, file xml file uh, with the language manager you can open uh, this software language in the language manager and you can add uh, every kind of language from here uh, because I add Turkish and English only and I can see the, in the list uh, English and Turkish.